I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I know I am late. I know I'm late. All right, I'm gonna give the room just a couple minutes for people to sign in and then we will get started with my most used bags of 2018. Hello, hello. Hi, Ange. I have like a countdown on my calendar. I cannot wait for Saturday. Hi, Florentine Quack. Okay, so why are you not happy with Dooney? Because I have a long list and we should probably compare notes. Hello, Emerald. Hello, Sandra. There, hi, Military Mom. <laughs> what's, what's your latest purchase? Hello, Roslyn. Ladies, go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me. Hi, Julie. Hi, Suss. Hi, Sandy Chris. So, ladies, it has not even been 20 minutes ago. I was literally, hi, Brittany, at um, the mall playing personal shopper. Hi, DJ King. Um, so, I sprinted back home and um pulled a couple of things to get well i didn't pull things together i had one thing i needed to get hi jenny um but hi teresa um so i'm gonna catch my breath i'm gonna let the room build for a minute you guys go ahead or ladies go ahead and say hello to everyone hi tc hello carmen hi clove 007 hello plenty feisty happy sunday i'm gonna let you all hi mrs q Hi, Kara. I'm going to let everybody just get their hellos in. Everybody go ahead and hit that thumbs up. I'm going to catch my breath and settle down. Hi, Francis. Hi, Emerald Gold. And then we're going to get ready to jump right into this week's topic, which is like jam-packed. It's jam-packed. We're going to have a fun time tonight. Hi, Lizbeth. Hi, Rosalind. And um, we're going to just get started. So before I jump into tonight's topic, hi, Michelle, while the room is building, I'm just going to throw out this million dollar question um, that has come up. I've talked about it um, in the tribe. I've talked about it with many of you one on one. Um, it seems like this topic has come up. Hello, Heartstring. It has come up in conversation a couple of times. But tonight, because I hear Florentine Quack saying that she's frustrated with Dooney. I hear Ange saying she's frustrated with Dooney. Hi, K. Carium. The tribe is frustrated because every time I go to look at the site, um, I'm just a little bit disappointed. Um, so here's the million dollar question and I'd like for, to see what your responses are. And that question is, given Peter Dooney's age, and he's got to be in his 70s at this point, company started in 75, he started um, apprentice, uh, an apprentice program with coach, hi Tanya, he started an apprentice program with coach at age 17. So of course that he was age 17 prior to 1975 when Dooney started. He was in his 20s when um, he and Frederick Burke linked up. Hi Betty. Um, when he and, uh, he and Frederick Burke linked up and started the brand Dooney and Burke. So Frederick was the money, the finance, the, you know, hold it together guy, the business sense. Hi Ann. Hi Delise. Hi, T.L. Bow. And then Peter was the design or is the design side of it, right? So when you think about Dooney and Burke, you think about Peter Dooney. So we all know that with, um, with Coach, they've had to go through a little bit of um, a, a, a transformation or rebranding. They brought in folks like Selena Gomez and, you know, had to kind of start rebuilding what Coach was all about, bringing that fresh, new vibe so that they could um, reinvent themselves. So, here's the question. What happens to our beloved Dooney and Burke brand when Peter 
is unable to design himself or what will ultimately happen to all of us when he is no longer around. What happens to our brand then when the man who is responsible for making every design decision is either unable to or no longer on this earth to, what happens to our brand then? So I'm thinking about, you know, him. Hi, Kim. I'm thinking about, you know, Henry Bendel. We've all shared with you that there's lots coming from us on Henry Bendel. Um, there has been an absolute flurry of activity around that brand. And they actually ended up shutting stores early, running out of product, and shutting down even their website early because of that flurry of activity of Bendel girls that flocked into the store and to the website to make sure that they were able to get their favorite pieces from their beloved brand. So with Dooney, if there were an announcement that they were no longer going to be in existence, do you have what you want, what you need in your collection? Or would you be in a frenzy trying to um, score pieces that you don't have um, or that are currently available that you've kind of been stalling on? What would you do if you heard that our brand was no more? What would you do? So Rosalind says, are you saying you're good, Rosalind? Or are you saying... You're good with your collection. I'm not following the chat that closely. I'm sorry. So I I just, I wonder what happens um, because it is more likely than not, right? That in your 70s, most likely, you're not going to live another 70 years, right? I don't know that there are many or any people since biblical days that have lived 140 years. So what happens when Peter is no longer able to, 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 to be the brand, to be the brain behind Dooney and Burt? Um, that being said, over the last few weeks, I have... Um, really enjoyed exploring other brands and thanks to Carmen my tribe sister and Kimberly my tribe sister I have decided to introduce a new series and I'm sure the other ladies in the tribe um, will you know share with you the brands that they're exploring um, but it was funny um, we were kind of I think it was Friday, the Henry Bendel site was shutting down and there was a chat, a text thread going around asking, okay, Henry Bendel is done. What brand are we exploring next? And it was Carmen that said that she was going to leave the exploring to Dora um, and all of our wallets, right, could use a break. Um, but needless to say, um, I've gotten... A few things from Henry Bendel. I literally bought like a whole nother collection in about the span of two and a half, three weeks. Not, not proud of that, but hi to Closet Dive. Um, but I didn't want to miss out. And if you have been following the prices on the resale market, they have been ridiculous. And I definitely won't get caught in that. Um, I was gifted a coach piece that I have absolutely just fallen in love with and was running late today to start the live stream because I was at Michael Kors. So after the live stream is over, I'm going to just post to my Instagram some of the pictures of bags from Michael Kors that caught my attention. Um, but we're going to do a Dora the Explorer series. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you, Kim. Thanks to the tribe for anyone else that wants to ch chime in. Um, maybe during tribe time on Saturday, I may show some of the other 
um, brands and pieces that I am exploring. So if you like to see that from me and from the other ladies in the tribe, if you would just me your hands up or yes in the chat so that we know that there is an appetite to follow us exploring brands outside of Dooney. If you're not interested in that, just don't say anything. <laughs> If you're not interested, just don't, don't cast a vote. It's okay. There's plenty of other stuff on YouTube for you to watch. But we're just talking about in this community, if you are open to seeing other things. Now, Mrs. Q sent a picture um, in text this morning. And clearly it was something that I had missed on um, Dooney's site. And I don't know that any of us really had a good answer for it. So I'm just going to ask it here. Mrs. Q, I think it was an Alto, right? The Alto firewood carrier. Does anyone know why you would need a Alto piece to carry the firewood for your fireplace? Alto's not cheap. Wood is scratchy and dirty and nasty. I don't even know that I would use it at my fireplace to like stage wood in for a look. But I mean, other brands like Henry Bendel had um, selfie sticks, something useful, something I can keep and you know use they had cosmetic cases and brush rolls and umbrellas and clothing and all of these other things and what we get from Dooney and Burke is something to carry firewood in yes they even have an all alto dog carrier I'm not pet friendly at all. So you will never find me saying, oh, that's a cute little doggy sweater. That's, that's not me. That's not me. I'm that friend that if you have animals in your house, I will never come by because I don't want to have to ask you to put your dog up or your cat or your hamster or your iguana or you know, whatever it is, that animal lives there and it should have whatever space it needs to roam and therefore I will stay away where I don't have to worry about those animals. But I think it's gone a little bit overboard and I have an appreciation for going outside of the box, but I'm frustrated that it's not in the box of things that most of us would want to buy. Now, in the back of my mind, I am replaying this article that I read from several years back from Women's Weekly Wear, I think is the name of the magazine. I don't know who bought it out, but it's a fashion um, magazine. And in that article, Peter states that he is not interested in doing what other brands do. I get that. Have an appreciation for that. Love the fact that the quality is good. Um, but there are also some things that other brands do extremely well that now have my eyes like this. And I am very interested to see what they have to offer. So that being said, I am going to start this um uh, 2018 most used bags. I didn't say these were bags that were purchased in 2018. So they may most not be available. But when I looked back over 2018 and the bags that I reached for the most, that I carried for the longest periods of time, the ones that I had to force myself at some point to move out of, and the first one that I have not moved out of, um, I, I felt like these deserved to be in my recap of 2018. So, um, I, I guess other than the cows, um, lambs, and 
other animals that are sacrificed for my leather good purchases. Other than that, I'm not interested. I don't I don't even eat beef, so I don't moving on. So the first item is my beat up packed and ready to go. Has toothpaste splatter on it, nylon dot kit. Ever since I got this thing, I have been traveling with it. It is with me for every single trip because it is packed full of all of my beauty on the go and hygiene um, essentials like my toothpaste and toothbrush and toilet seat covers and my deodorant. Um, it has my lotion. It has my face mask. It has um, my foot cream in it. It has my Q-tips, my Lysol, my perfume, my makeup wipes, my vitamin C for my face. It absolutely holds everything. So I use it often. It's packed and ready to go now. Um, got it at a really good price. I think I picked this up. May I think it was the summer fun sale. Um, convinced and enabled Sabrina to pick it up uh, while we were all together. Where? Where were we together? We were together at the tent sale. And she's traveled since then and moved into it. It was an excellent price, Roslyn. Um, the only thing that I wish Peter would do, so this is going to be a little bit of a sip and cuss too, I guess. So DJ King, go ahead and get your glass. I made the request for the dot kits um, with the NFL, you know, like the little cosmetic cases that have the teams all over them. I wanted that in this, in the dot kit, so that I know we got the ones that have like the team logos on the leather patch, but I want it like branded all over because I need Dallas, I need the Carolina Panthers, I need the Pittsburgh Steelers, I need my Tennessee Titans, um, and I also need an Atlanta Falcons one. I need those so that between my personal need, the ones that I would gift, to like my nephew, my uncles, and my male friends, or even a couple of my um, co-workers that are all into their sports team, having it just on the logo was just not enough. So we're going to give it again. We're going to give it a try again. Peter, can you get those to us this year by Father's Day? Because we would buy them. Don't overprice them because some of the stuff lately has been like, really? You expect us to pay? Um, I forget how much it was. How much is the little jewelry case, Sandra? Was it $148? Do I have that right? For some reason, $148 is $98. Okay, so $98. I'm, I'm going to need that to, to, to be about $40 less. But... To get the right, to the entire NFL team, we just need it all over so that we can gift these to the guys. But the black in the, in the nylon with the Sierra trim, this was one of my most used bags in 2018. And it's got toothpaste all over it and I can wipe it down when that starts to bother me and I'll clean it up. So... See, Rosalind has the dot kit. Who else picked up the dot kit in 2018? I know Sabrina picked it up. Kim, did you pick up the dot kit? Who else picked up the dot kit? All right, so Teresa has it in navy pebbled. Very nice. Michelle Jester has two. Okay, Kim got her. Okay, yep, you did. Yep, yep, yep. You're right. You're right. You're right. Anyone else pick up the dot kit in any in any finish, any team, etc.? 
Okay, K. Carrie, I'm also got it in the Concord. They had it in red and I missed out on that one. And I think I missed it a little intentionally because as much as I like the idea of leather, the fact is in the morning when I'm getting ready and I've got my electric toothbrush and I'm trying to, you know, text and all kinds of other things while I'm getting ready, stuff happens. And with this nylon version, if anything spills, if anything gets on it, it's an easy wipe down. And I just wasn't sure that I wanted it in leather um, just because it's a heavy, um, heavy travel piece for me. All right. So the next piece I am um, blaming <laughs> says what for. Because she had this bag in Kelly Green at the meetup when we were all together in May. And I just loved how her green played as a neutral while we were all together. And I couldn't find the green, but of course I was able to find red. And once I moved my stuff into this beauty right here, I carried this bag for several, several, several weeks this summer. And I had to force myself to move out of it um, so that I could enjoy something else in my collection. Lightweight, it has a strap that can be carried over the shoulder or crossbody. My phones fit perfectly on the outside pockets. It has the strap so that I could carry over the handle. She is an absolutely big bag. The lining on the inside, natural, so light. Big pockets for all of my accessories and card cases and all of that stuff silica packet and big zip slip and she's got a big butt it looks small you can tell I, I broke her in I have worn her out but I absolutely loved this bag and nylon picks up this red and any other color it's so rich so vibrant um, this is one of those bags where you really, I mean, I guess you can have corner wear, um, but you have to have dog your nylon out in order to have corner wear. And I've seen some online where y'all have dogged them. Somebody's dogged them. Um, but this is also a bag that from a nylon standpoint, um, my pursuit of happiness um, and Soldier Covington and I got together this past week on... Wednesday night at the Aurora outlet. We were there for a couple of hours and while I was there I asked the question of um, the two ladies whether or not um, They would toss their nylon bags in the washer and my pursuit of happiness said yeah so This is one of those bags that I think on like a delicate cycle with like your wool or some other very, very mild um, laundry detergent on um, a cool wash cycle. I think you could, you could toss it and wash it and breathe new life back into it and be ready to go. Don't say I told you to do it. I'm just saying I've heard other people try it. I will do it with mine, and I also shared it with my sister. You wouldn't do it, Carmen? I would absolutely toss it in there. Or wash it by hand. Either way, I absolutely love it. The other thing is, which I am looking forward to moving back into it, is changing out the strap. Kim, you washed yours? Yeah, I mean, I, I would I would absolutely 
I throw it in the washing machine on a light cycle. But again, I'm a little different when it comes to my collection because I don't freak out over rain and stuff like that. So I'm a little bit adventurous when it comes to my bags. So um, I'm looking forward to moving back into this one this summer. I'm sure I will blame Suz what again when I move into her and I don't want to move out. But I'm also thinking about switching up the strap um, so that I have a little bit wider strap and can have a little bit shorter carry, a little bit more comfortable. Um, and then I can keep the strap that came with it in the zipper pocket. And then if I want to swap out and go crossbody, I would have that one with me so um if you have if you don't have anything in nylon um and i know people that are funny about i want all leather so on and so forth but if you're a person that finds the weight of Dooney's leather um to be heavy which prohibits you from being able to comfortably carry it try like the coated cotton the canvas and definitely try nylon for those of you that missed out on Henry Bendel, I think if weight, the weight of the leather um, for Dooney was a problem for you and you still wanted really good quality but a lighter weight leather, um, then Henry Bendel was an, a really, really nice option um, for you to explore. All right. The next bag you actually just saw last week because I was asked to do a comparison for of it and it is my Newport tote in black and Sierra so see Sabrina I do have black in my collection um but this I, I talked about this last week so I'm not gonna go all into it if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this bag um, it was towards the end of last week's live stream. But this is like the ultimate work bag, overnight bag, picnic bag, baby bag, craft bag, realtor bag. Um, you name it and this bag can hold it. And the good thing is I now have a replacement black strap, which I also showed last week and maybe the week before which will make this bag even more useful because I won't be worried about the strap getting dirty. How many of you would actually throw your strap in the washer if it's light and dirty? Anyone would wash your strap or you just walk around with a dirty strap? Please don't walk around with a dirty strap. <laughs> Because I'm judging you if you do. If you if you leave your house and I see you and you have a webbed, dirty strap, just know the first thing I've said is nasty behind. And I'm thinking you should wash your strap. I'm just I'm just saying, you know, each one help one. And if your strap is dirty, you just need to wash it. That's all I'm saying. Just wash it. It doesn't matter what color your complexion is. If you got oils on your skin, and even if you have dry skin, you have oils in your skin, you have oils on your hand, you have on your shoulder, you need to make sure that your strap is clean. And if you're not going to throw it in the washer, you need to get your little brush and some cleaner and clean it by hand. Because all of us are judging you when you leave home with a dirty bag strap. And that's not just for duty. That's on any bag strap that I think can go in the washing machine. Sorry. But this one made the list as well for nine zillion reasons and I am loving it. She does have some corner wear. She didn't come that way, but that's the reason I'm so anal when it comes to my bags. I want to be the one to beat it up. I don't want it to come to me already beat up. Okay. So the next bag, this bag, um, represents a style.
So not just this color, um, but this entire bag color, the, the bag style, that's what I want to say. It's the bag style. I've talked about this bag for probably three, maybe four years now. You have heard me talk about it being a favorite of mine. And when I move into this bag, this bag style, I also have to force myself to move out. Hi, D. Blair. So oftentimes, I switch out of one color and into the same bag in a different color. Um, but even with that, I have to force myself to move out. That being said, it is none other than the large Florentine Zip Barlow, and this one is in the color Crimson. I have beat her up. I moved into her. I moved, she's out because I moved into her for Thanksgiving, and at Christmas time, I was still in her. So a month, I carried her. The only time that I moved out of this bag was so that I could pack for the tent sale. And then as soon as I got back home, I put my stuff right back in her and was ready for work the next week. I have been in and out of this bag style in different colors all year. Now, this one will end up being a travel one because I've not traveled a lot with my Bordeaux one. That was the first one that I got. I have babied her. I love her. It was the color that sold out on QVC. I paid full price for her. I absolutely love that bag. But I don't travel with her um, by plane because the idea of sliding her under the seat and her getting scratched or, or in the overhead bin, that is one that I have a tendency to baby. Um, my orange... Um, large zip bar low. I don't do a lot of traveling and stuff with her either. I baby her and I baby the red. Um, but for the most part, all others are fair game. They were smooth when I got them. And by the time I'm done with them, they will all be beat to hell and nobody will be interested in them. But they were perfect when I got them and I am going to enjoy them. So, I typically do not carry the bag zipped because y'all know I am a big bag girl and I need the extra space. So I almost always have the zippers down and have the sides popped out. I also just like that silhouette a little bit more um, than with the zippers up. But she made the list because I've been in and out of this bag style in different colors for all of 2018. I do wish that the bag strap drop were just a little bit longer. Just, if it were just a little bit longer, this would probably be a 2018 most used bag review of three bags. I would have had the Barlow, the Dot Kit, and the Newport Toe. It would have been my three most used bags of 2018 if the shoulder drop on this one were just a little bit longer. Um, but even with that, I find myself gravitating to it. I have it in multiple colors, but I don't have it in pink. I don't have it in like the, um, what was it, a uh, sky blue. I don't have it in black. I don't have it in tomorrow brown. Um, seems like there's one other color that's out there that I don't have. Oh, I got Elephant. Um, I think I still have Elephant. I think it was the tote that I got and that I sold immediately, um, because that bag just didn't have a, a home with me. The color was not pretty in the Florentine leather. All right. The next is also a bag that is no longer available. 
Fingers crossed that Peter is listening and that there will be a return of this bag somewhere in red because I need it in true red, like a tomato red, like a strawberry, like I just need this bag in more colors. Um, and you've seen and heard me talk about this bag over and over and over again. And there is a reason why. There's a reason why it sold out on QVC. There's a reason why people want so much for it on the resale market. There, So it's McKenzie. It is the McKenzie Hobo. I live in the taupe. The taupe one was an as-is purchase that I got from QVC. It is like one of the only as-is purchases from QVC that I was actually pleased with and that I kept and that now um, my bag looks like um, it has been through the ringer. I probably need to clean her, but to clean her, I need to move out of her for longer than a couple of days. Um, so I moved into the wine one that I got from QVC. This is also the same color. Um, it's, it's in the oil in the same color family as the large zip Barlow that I just showed you, but it's in the color wine. Um, so I literally for weeks bounced between the taupe and the wine, the taupe and the wine, because this is very fall winter appropriate, but it is a gorgeous berry color for the spring and the summer. And then taupe is just neutral. If it goes anywhere, anytime, any outfit, I love the shoulder strap. These are just absolutely beautiful. Go to holds all of my stuff bags so the mckenzie hobo i need peter to make mckenzie in red i just need her in red i have i don't have her in pink y'all should know for the most part if they make it in pink i'm not interested um and i don't think i got her in black but i did get her in charcoal i have her in um butter i have her in geranium um, I think I have her in navy or midnight, and that actually looks like a true blue. Um, but this year, I bounce between taupe and wine, wine and taupe, taupe with wine accessories, wine with taupe accessories. Um, I, if you don't have these, as long as they were available on QVC, I'm sorry. Um, I really am because... They, they probably didn't look like much when they first aired, but this was a bag that QVC had tons of colors in, and I just wish that if they're going to bring back anything, <coughs> excuse me, from the past with more colors, um, that they would do it in that bag. I need that bag in as many colors as the, as the Ugly Sister. Y'all know the Ugly Sister on QVC from Dooney? I need Mackenzie in every color that they've created over the years, the ugly sister in. And then I might be just a little bit satisfied. And then they can go back and make it in all of the colors that they haven't um, already made from the logo lock. And between the ugly sister and the logo lock, if they make all of those colors and make Mackenzie available in all of those, um, then I will be happy for a season. So I'm just going to tell the truth about that. All right. The next is a bag, not a bag, an accessory, not an accessory, um, because it just depends on how you want to use her. And y'all know I have lived with, um, this piece in many different varieties um, and when QVC first launched um, this piece in the retro and the tartan and I think it had like the signature D's and B's and 
Um, I, I got on the bandwagon, which was probably now four years ago, and I have been riding with Carrington ever since. So, um, Carrington has become a clutch, a wallet, a go-to travel piece, a running errands. I have used it as a cosmetic bag. I have used it for travel um, just so that I can keep my receipts for work organized. Um, I have used Carrington for a little bit of everything and I have them in multiples and if I have a purse. <laughs> I have a Carrington. That is lately for the last four years. If I have a purse with me, I have a Carrington in some variety with me. Um, I would like to see the lamb's leather, which is what this one is. I'd like to see this come back. Um, I got it in the color melon. I got it in red. I got it in... Uh, caramel or caramel and I got it in tan and some other color that I can't think of in the lamb the red one is my most used but it is so beat up because I use it so often and the lamb is so soft I just decided I wasn't gonna put her on camera anymore um, but if I have a purse with me just know that there is a Carrington in the inside. And it may be a Carrington to match the bag. It may be a Carrington that doesn't. But if I have a purse, then I have a Carrington. And most likely, if I don't have a purse with me, then I am carrying a Carrington as a clutch. Plain and simple. I don't have enough of them. I would love them in... I think I want it in Florentine, but I'm not sure because it would be a little heavy and a little stiff. And I like the fact that um, I don't have to worry about it getting all scratched up because um, this one does have some scratches on it. But I know they, they are all from me. So I have, I have mixed feelings about whether or not I want it in Florentine. But if they had a red one in Florentine, it's a done deal. But I love this. Safiano, the Harding collection, the, the calf leather, um, the coated cotton, the retro. And but I just, I love Carrington. And if you've been around my channel and you have not experimented with a Carrington, then just like Russell last week, I'm going to need for you to split your screen and go look at ILD, go look at Dooney.com, and find a Carrington to bring home because you have been missing out on one of, if not the best handbag accessory for like the last four years. Every brand has some kind of pouch Carrington version of their own. Um, 2019 for me is going to be focused on, one, um, enjoying my collection, two, continuing to expand my accessories and my pouch collection, which is going to feed into that Dora the Explorer series of seeing what pouches and accessories other brands have. I'm beyond the point of brand loyalty. The end of 2018, that died for me. Um, so I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to see something really, really new, innovative, special, and at the right, right price point and in the right leather from Dooney & Burke in order for me um, to continue to have only Dooney & Burke items in my Dooney & Burke bags because that is that has just not, um, well, I'm, I'm not going to sip and cuss right now. But <clears throat> I love Carrington. And the last item... Um, if I was not in the messenger bag that fits my laptop, if I was not in my Newport tote that fits my laptop, then I was in this bag. And I have to say thank you to the Purse Fairy for this bag because it is a much coveted bag, a bag that I could not and had not been able to find on my own. 
I used it for my work bag. I used it to travel with for um, as my carry-on for the tent sale. I have used it as a weekend bag. And that is the Florentine Tilton. So I probably need to put just a little bit of conditioner on this one. Um, but she is well used and she holds everything, everything. My only, um, I guess, since Dooney has come up with the, um, the black web straps that you can buy separately, the only thing that I wish from a design standpoint now is that the strap was actually on a hook so that I could unclip it and actually put the black strap on. Um, I don't typically play around with like the adjustments on the side of the bag, but in order to watch my strap or to switch from the light colored strap to the black strap, I will play with this adjustment to get it off so that I can get the... Well, let's see. Do I have to do it that way? No. I think I can do it from here. I think I can take it off here. Does anyone know? Do I take it off here or do I take it off here? I think I can do it here. Yeah, I think I can do it here. So what I will end up doing at some point is either taking the strap off and washing it. Um, it's not dirty, just so you know. Cause I don't believe in dirty straps I'm trying to tell you so I will either take it off and wash it or take it off and switch to the black one um so La Wanice, um it is the um messen the messenger it's the messenger briefcase it's an older bag it is it wasn't the Brooklawn collection. It was, hmm, which collection was it? I showed it a couple of weeks back on a, um, on a live stream. It was in the same one as the executive series, I think, or the week after that. It was the week after the executive series because I actually came back and wanted to show that they actually do know what size pocket a laptop fits in because I have a bag that it actually fits. It's not a very feminine bag. It's more neutral. Um, but that it, that's where you can find that bag. And I don't even know if then if I was able to share the name of it because I don't remember, <clears throat> excuse me, the collection. Um, so... Those are my most used, most reached for bags of 2018. Again, um, other than a version of Carrington and the dock kit, um, the Newport tote is available. And then every once in a while, which it hasn't done it in, the, in several months now, the McKenzie Hobo will pop back up and like, the purple color or um, like butter or something like that on the on the website but for the most part you should be able to find everything ex easily find everything else except the Tilton um, the, the double pocket sack is available at the um, outlets um, <clears throat> Let's see, excuse me. <clears throat> I did pick up another fold over wallet this week while I was in Chicago. So if there is anyone that was looking for the steel blue fold over wallet called Aurora. Um, let's see, it's 720 here, so 620 there. You may miss them. Um, but they did have the steel blue in stock. They had pewter. Um, they had the fold over wallet in black. Again, this is all in exotics and ostrich. Um, black, pewter, steel blue. Black, pewter, 
steel blue. I think those are the only three colors um, that they had. And I think that wallet is $148 with 50% off, so about $74, bucks, 74 $78. Bucks. <clears throat> so if you liked that one and I featured it and I missed out on getting the steel blue while we were all together um, at the tent sale, I did go ahead and pick that up this weekend. And I'll show that to you on another um, live stream. Um, but that's it. So... I'd like to know what were some of your most used bags of 2018 in the chat. You may have already covered that because, of course, I've just been running my mouth. Um, while I, while you're telling me what your most used bags were for 2018, um, Steel Blue was um, at the outlet in Cassidy, um, Florentine Cassidy, and help me, Sanja and Ivana. What else was there in Steel Blue? They had the little Jenny, Gingy um, belts um, or pouches on a belt. Um, so the Closet Dive is saying the Prim Pembroke Large Amelie was her most used for 2018. <clears throat> um, they had uh, Greta in a few different styles. They had Glacier Blue, which is the new blue, which um, is lighter than Caribbean Blue. So if you're looking for something less intense, a bit more powdery, then Glacier Blue is the way for you to go. Um, I'm safe. I don't... I, I'm in no danger of purchasing Glacier Blue. They did have some dark mauve pieces. Um, they had Coopers there in pebbled leather. Um, they had a lot of accessories on clearance, like um, mm, the Continental, not Continental, the zip around, the large zip around wallet in a couple of different colors. They had um, one beacon card case left. Uh, what else? What else? What else? They had a couple of kiss coin clutches. A lot of the stuff that um, we've already seen and kind of talked about. Uh, spent some time there talking to Candace, our favorite junior bar store manager. And Jessica, our favorite assistant manager and they said that it'll be the second week in February before they have any new inventory um, they just got through uh, store inventory so merchandise that was slated to arrive right after inventory is a bit delayed so they will not be receiving um, fresh new merchandise until the second week of February. They did have uh, the Carolina print, the one with the dots and the black and the white. They had a few of those pieces. They had some backpacks. They had um, the Alley backpack uh, was there. Um, you know what? I sent pictures to the tribe and I'm going to just see if I can get back to those and tell you really quick. Um, they had some Ecru accessories. Um, they also had uh, Florentine Cassidy in Ecru. They had the large Millie crossbody, so that on a strap. Um... What else? I think they were all in the chat. So let me see. And I know y'all are not interested in hanging out while I scroll through now. Because we've been sharing a lot of pictures. A lot of screenshots. A lot of pictures. Um, and that's been several days ago. So there's no telling. Excuse me. I'm 
looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I want to be able to tell you what else they had in store so that if you're looking for something, you can call uh, Kimberly, Mrs. Q, Sanja. Do you ladies recall some of the pictures that I shared? Ems, do you recall any of the pictures? Because I'm like, I guess I've scrolled back far enough to thank you thank you um i've scrolled back far enough to see some of the ridiculous thousand dollar and seven thousand dollar price points that people are asking for henry bindle stuff which is still hilarious to me um but i'm trying to get back to wednesday night okay so here we go they have um coin cases they had Tatum's left. They had um, some pebbled leather kiss coin, but no Florentine. They have a couple of cranberry or wine Tatum's that are on clearance in pebble. They had uh, dark mauve in the Tatum in Safiano, black, red, looks like ecru. Zip around, the large zip around wallet in Beacon in the light taupe, the French blue, the black, and the red. Um, in Safiano, the large zip around in, that looks like oyster, cranberry, and leaf. They also have the large in the Beacon zip around in olive. Um, they had a couple of Florentine, large Florentine zip around wallets and like taupe, elephant. They had, was that Calypso? Yeah. So, um, again, not anything new. Umbrellas were still like 20 bucks. Um, they did have um, the dark as well as the light replaceable shoulder straps for $25. Bucks. Um, they're expecting some new exotics. They're expecting exotics in a lot of stuff to come in in Denison. So if you are on the hunt for Denison, that is making its way to the outlet. And... Hmm, trying to think of what else was there so that's all I can think of for now so if you were looking for any of those things lots of things 50% off um, clearance good price on clearance they still had a couple of Harding Carrington so if you've not ventured down that path I think that um, the gray blackish Carrington in Harding it's going to be great with your grays, with your smokes, with your Bordeaux, um, with your whites and your bones for this summer. Um, it is going to pair well with any of your solid color bags. So if you are on the fence about that, then just take the plunge. I do not think you will be disappointed. I actually picked it up myself. Um, so slim wallet, pebbled, black pebbled slim wallet. They had slim wallets. Um, I want to say they had black and bone and dark mauve. They had that. Yeah. So I would call, I would call them. So let me just take a look at the chat. If you have not hit the thumbs up for me, I'd ask that you do so. And okay, it's only gonna let me go back so far. There are, so Sandy Chris has a new video up. Bag Hound has a new video up. Mrs. Q has a live stream from Friday night. Uh, Kimberly and Sonja both have videos. Um, who else has? Oh, says what has a new video? So if you are a lover of black bags and want to see how she um, spends.
spent a week in her black bags, the different bags that she carried. Um, check her out. Military Mom has some new coach stuff. Um, so make sure that you are checking her out as well. D. Blair, do you have a new video up? Julianne has a new video up. So please, please, please make sure that you are checking out these ladies. If you have not been over to check out um, the Closet Dives video, um, just watch it with your debit or credit card in your hand because you'll be on the hunt. Um, OG Cherie has content, new content up, so make sure that you are checking her out. We um, have crossed paths as um, she's a Bendel girl and as I was entering into that world, so she's here in the chat, so make sure that you check her out. Um, fab to Fab is now Zora Zori's Fine, so make sure you're checking out Zori's channel. Um, who else am I missing? Who else am I missing? Um, My Pursuit of Happiness has her haul from our time together on a Wednesday night at the Aurora Outlet. Um, Honey is Natural. Uh, four ducks. Four ducks. We're looking for a new video from you. Um, purse delighted. Purse demented. I'm purse happy too. Make sure that you're checking out all of these ladies' channels. Um, again, uh, tribe time will be on Saturday at eleven. Um, Miss Sanja Covington will be leading tribe time this Saturday. Followed by Mrs. Q. Um, so you'll know the lineup for the next couple of weeks on Saturday mornings at 11 for tribe time. Um, and then um, Mrs. Q, 7.30 Central Time, 8.30 Eastern on Fridays. I will be back on uh, Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 Central. Just Stay tuned. Make sure that you have subscribed to all of the beautiful ladies and content creators in this community. Make sure that you have hit that little bell um, so that they are alert. Anj, oh my goodness. Make sure that you are checking out Anj. So Anj is coming to Atlanta and we are going to hang out for a little while on Saturday. Um, and a couple of ladies are planning to come over and meet us and just hang out. So we're going to Dooney and brunch um, with a little small intimate group on Saturday. I cannot wait because Anj and I, um, we started our channels around the same time. Um, I had a trip planned to Maryland. We ended up missing each other. She was um, heading out of town. I was in town and then heading out. It just ended up. You know, we, we weren't able to connect, um, but we text, we check in with each other, and I cannot wait to be with her on Saturday morning in the flesh. So we will probably live stream a little bit um, after Sonja's um, tribe time on Saturday morning. So just, just go ahead and, you know, get your laundry done. Make sure when you go to bed on Friday night. The dishwasher is already loaded. Make sure that your little ones have cereal, bowls, spoons, and milk accessible so that you can just hang out with us on Saturday morning because it is going to be fun. So make sure that you go over and check out Anja's channel as well. Um, I am working on finalizing the date for the Nashville um, Dooney and brunch. Um, the plan is for us to meet at Monell's at the Manor, family style brunch restaurant, central right there at the airport, easy to find. Um, and we can just commune together as a family in that environment and talk about bags. And then, um, for those that want to hang out afterwards, we can either do um, a, a movie, depending on what's playing, or hit Opry Mills and get in a little bit of retail therapy there and explore some other brands because there's 
No Duty and Burke at the Opry Mills Mall. Um, and then after we return from Cuba is when we will have the meet Duty and Brunch in Charlotte. So just so that you kind of have a time frame. So uh, basically Nashville, Cuba, Charlotte, and then Vegas. So that's kind of the lineup of our events for 2019. So, whew. I appreciate you all for hanging in there with me. I would ask that you give me a thumbs up before you head out. Um, we will be back all together on Friday night on Hanging Out on Mrs. Q's channel for For Real, For Real Fridays. Uh, Sandra Covington will be with you 11 a.m. on Saturday for Tribe Time this week. Um, so, uh, Cuba is in July. It's the week of the 4th of July, OG Cherie. Um, and there's a video that has all of the details on it. Just go back through my thumbnails and look for the one that says Cuba. All of the details, the dates, all of that, um, the, the agent's contact information, all of that is on there. And we have one cabin, um, still available for, um, our group and then all of our cabins will be sold out. Um, so again, Saturday morning at 11 with tribe time this week being hosted by Mrs. Sonja Covington. Afterwards, you'll get a little bit of a snippet of Dooney and Brunch for those of us here, um, that are connecting in Atlanta. Um, then on Sunday, I will be back at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for, another live stream. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do Dooney and Burke or whether I'm going to venture out and do something else. We'll see. Um, and again, recap for events will be Dooney and Brunch in Nashville spring. Then the week of the 4th of July, we are in Cuba. After Cuba, we'll be Dooney and Brunch in Charlotte, North Carolina. And then in October, we're going to Vegas, baby. Um, which will be the weekend before Halloween, which will be October 25th, 26th, and 27th. So, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for watching on your way out. If you have not hit the thumbs up, I ask that you do so. Until next time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Diva 9000, you got your Russell. For those of you that ordered Russell last week. And you got it in. Are you thanking me later? Or are you disappointed with your purchase? Did you order, Rosalind? Are you pleased? Yay! <laughs> I love it. Did anyone else pick up the Russell? Yay! I love it. I love it. I love it. Kara got the black. Yes, perfect. Mocha cream is, I don't know, she usually watches on replay because she's on the West Coast. She and I were on the phone this morning. We texted last night. Um, she texted me on Friday while she was at work because her box came in and she was like, oh my God, I love it. I don't know whether I need totes, I mean, whether I need pouches to go in it or whether I'm just going to use it as a work bag or a handbag. You just dump all my stuff in it. But she absolutely loves it as well. So um, for those that missed out on it, I apologize because the price has gone back up. Tanya, you got it in black. Do you love it? Please, 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 please say you love it. If not, it's okay. I just want to make sure that the recommendation, yes, you can, Diva 9000X. You can smell that Florentine as soon as it hits the front porch. I just want to make sure that I didn't lead anybody astray when I made the recommendation of, yes, yes, yes. Delise got it in natural. I am so happy. I am so, so, so very happy um, that you all picked it up. Matter of fact, I think I just made the decision. I have a couple of, um, of um, live stream card here um, ideas that I've jotted down that I um, have been working my way through. And one of those, um, 
is the top Dooney and Bart moments of 2018. Um, my top purchases, um, handbag purchases for 2018. And then my top um, accessory purchases for 2018. So after the live stream, I'm going to post in on the community board a, um, what's it called? A survey and go in and cast your vote for which of these topics you want to see in the next live stream. So what I will do is the order of the most votes will be the one that I do um, next week. And then in, you know, descending order, I will do the other best of 2018 um, videos. But you have to vote in order for me to know which order I'm going to do those in. And I'm hopeful that it won't be this week. I don't think it'll be this week. But maybe maybe I could come back Saturday night um, since Saturdays are going to be our tribe time. Maybe Saturday night I can come back um, and do one video, do one on Sunday. And then as we round out um, the month of January will finish up with the last of the best of 2018. Okay, I'm so happy that those of you that took me at my word about Russell are pleased with your purchases. For those of you that did not, just remember that if you come to this channel and you were talking about missing out on Russell, does everyone remember what the moderators are going to do? For those people that say they missed out after we told you last week to go get it. Anybody remember? I know everybody remembers. I know DJ, I knew it. Yes, blocked. You're going to be timed out for the maximum amount that YouTube will allow in a live stream. You will be timed out by the moderators for 300 seconds. And just so you know, the way that works is your stuff will still appear to come through. And nobody will be responding to you because it's just hanging out there in cyberspace. So, I don't know what rules the other ladies have set on their channels about Russell. But you heard it here to go get it. Right? And once you got it, I wanted to make sure that everybody was pleased with it. And if you are in that group that missed it, say that on somebody else's channel. Because if you say it here, the moderators are going to time you out for 300 seconds. Because this train has left the station. We are Dora the Exploring in 2019. We are going to focus on accessories and pouches and organization and enjoying our collections this year, looking at the quality and the offering of other brands and if we can't find what we want in our beloved Dooney and Burke, there is somebody out there that is interested in our coins every single time. Every single time. All right, ladies, that is all I have. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for watching. Again, if you have not hit the thumbs up, please do so on your way out. Until next time, I do hope that you find something that feeds your Dooney addiction. Take care. Don't forget, Instagram for the pictures from Michael Kors of the things that caught my attention. And the community board to make sure that you cast your vote on what you would like to see from an order standpoint for the remaining three videos to recap 2018. Thanks, everyone. Have a